many signs will have in the hospital, the patient declaration, the values will be all over the place. And um, so um, you were asking a little bit about respecting staff. So we have a few elements of it in it, and you'll see it when they go up. But one of the things we ask our patients to do, and it, it's really up to us to communicate it, because as you know, no one reads signs. So it is to make sure they supply you, the caregiver, with the information you need. And you do have to remind people that we don't always think of it. Secondly, yes, it is important to stand up for yourself in a very respectful manner and say, I'm here to serve you, I'm here to take care of you. Uh, but um, that sort of behavior is not tolerated when you run into it. And it's really about ingraining that in our culture, I think. So I'll move off that topic. I thought that was a great exchange, by the way. Um, another sign going up will be many smoke-free signs. I'm very proud to say Rouge Valley is joining many, if not most, other hospitals in going smoke-free. The policy was recently passed by the senior team and kept me for many different, uh, many different working groups. I made it challenging for Bill to follow me on the video camera. Um, and uh, so we're going smoke-free. It won't begin until January 1st. So this is our time to spread the word, inform our friends, inform our friends who smoke that on January 1st, there will be no smoking on any of our properties inside or out at Rouge Valley. And it's something we're doing really for the health of our patients and for ourselves. And you don't come to a hospital to smoke. I think that's just a, a contrasting image. People were talking about the way it was many years ago. Well, many years ago, your oncologist or your cardiologist might have come up to you with cigarette and said, you know, you really got to improve your health. Um, so that sort of thing has really shifted. And we're by no means introducing anything that would be um, unusual, I don't think, at this, at this late stage in the game. Um, but we're very proud to be introducing and doing the right thing to go smoke free. There will be a few exceptions uh, to where people can smoke, and only certain people. So the exceptions are residents of Pathways, 25 Mail City, Shonaker, Gateview. Um, the residents there are patients and smoke on those properties outside, not inside, and only outside, and only there. They can't say, come here and say, I'm from the pathways, I can smoke here. Um, it only applies to those areas. Otherwise, for everyone else, there is no smoking. And again, that begins January 1st. I'm sure there'll be a few questions. So just to clarify, people don't live at pathways, they live behind um, there's a 25 mile mm -hmm. So are you suggesting that people that attend pathways as their, their day program, they yeah, so the question is, um, who, who gets the exception? What would be sort of a customer, a residence of those, uh, those particular mental health facilities? And they can only do it there outside of the building. For the, the front of pathways, people can't smoke, but at the back of pathways where housing is, they can smoke there. Yeah, wherever we've designated it, I'm not sure exactly where that's going to be. We have six months to, to work that out. But it only apply to those people. For the rest of us, uh, for everyone else, there will be no smoking. Um, a few other little points. Enforcement is always difficult. Uh, we'll really be all of us, and it'll be all of us speaking to each other, and perhaps even families or patients very respectfully, and saying there's no smoking anymore. It's for your good health. It's for our good health collectively. Um, I mean, you can only do a few so much, but it's important to remind people as often as possible. And um, I think it will be difficult at first, but well worth it. I have no doubt that after a few months, once this particular uh, policy is in place, we will see fewer smokers standing out there. I think we'll still see some of them, but we'll see fewer, and that's a start. That's where we have to start. Yes, question back there. Uh, yeah. I would just like to also just uh, reiterate that there's still some tobacco. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, a few years back, the operating room, it is um, one of the few organizations in the hospital, in the Chan I think, which value has implemented a policy on smoke trade, reducing smoking bags in the economy, and if you have a because once we do, especially uh, when our gas reductions, we just include that smoke that has been colorized from the uh, operative side. So, which value is one of the few hospitals that has implemented a policy on Using smoking bags to research, but we've added much of it by the really buffalo calculators to the super duper effect for our breast reduction. So that's 
That's, that's super. That's good to hear. And I know some of you can make an application to for for that funding. And see. But uh, no, I think uh, I think uh, this smoke policy really builds on something that's be more and more ingrained in the hospital. Yes. Yeah, here, I'm going to mic you up. Um, I know that later today, the CC will on the edge of the sidewalk. Um, okay, so they will be allowed to go to the front side of the hospital. Is it allowed to get off hospital property? People can't smoke on hospital property. What they do off of it is outside of the policy. Uh, if it, if the car's on hospital property, technically you can't smoke in those either. So anything that involves hospital property is where we won't be allowed to smoke in the home. Any other questions on the smoke break? Follow up. That's great, and I know that we can do this. I uh, recently worked at Ontario Shores, and that's a mental health facility in our community. And uh, they have a large geography, and if they can do it, we can do it. Uh, as well, I'm wondering if uh, through Oc Health and other wellness initiatives, whether we're going to be working on the other end of the spectrum, and that is to support staff and patients alike to perhaps um, um, stop smoking altogether. Yes, that's very important, Paula, and uh, yes, um, you'll see in this afternoon's Heat Echo, uh, we'll talk about the fact that we're going smoke free in the new year, and uh, it will have a huge reference to occupational health and staff, physicians, or volunteers can contact occupational health for various uh, methods to help you quit if you so choose. Um, I think we all know people who smoke and it's never easy to quit. The strongest will of people uh, have to quit many times. And I think part of the message there is to keep quitting. Uh, but yes, occupational health has a few supports in place and please call them at whichever site you have to be uh, working at. Any other questions on the smoke free policy? So Eboy is asking me if the policy, the smoke-free policy, applies to mental health patients in the hospital. Uh, it applies to everyone. So the only exceptions are pathway, Sean, Kerr, Gatesby. So yes, it does. And yes, we know there will be challenges with that. Yeah, if it were easy, we'd have done it 20 years ago. So we still have to do it. And I think, I think everyone will agree it's the right thing to do. Um, any more questions on the going smoke group? All right, we have just a few more slides and we're almost done. Honestly. Jeremy is up next. 